For one artist, the choice to make home and office one was easy. Orange County, California artist Josh Egel, known as Shag, has decided to live and work in the style of the 1950s. With his remarkable tiki collection as a backdrop, Shag has created a home and work environment that promotes both his love of the lounge era and his unique style of art. I think I'd describe my art as based on commercial illustration of the 50s, and I've sort of taken that art style and, and incorporated that into what I do. The living room reflects some of the island influences that encouraged Shag and his wife to choose this home. This fireplace was the first thing I saw when I stepped into this house, and I think it made me realize that this was the house for, for us. Uh, I love this sort of 50s stonework and the three little niches. I knew they'd be great for displaying the tiki collection. There's a reason the tikis feel at home. This house was built in 1954. It was commissioned by a couple who had lived in Hawaii, and it's got a lot of Japanese influences. These original Japanese privacy screens separate the living room from a room that was originally an open-air lanai. They enclosed it and turned it into a room, and that's the big family room where uh, my family and I spend most of our time. <laughs> Everything in the house I got either at a garage sale, a thrift store, or a flea market, or I made it myself. Even this coffee table that Shag and a friend made speaks to the curvy, colorful style of the era. The great idea behind this table was that each spot of paint was going to be a built-in drink coaster. So those are uh, foam inserts, and people never leave drink rings on our table. Except we have to warn them about 600 times during a party, use the coasters, use the coasters. <laughs> the room features a dining set that's vintage 50s, an original from venerated designers Haywood Wakefield. I was lucky enough to find this at a garage sale about a block from here. They wanted $450 for the entire set. I know they're selling the same thing in a store about three blocks from here for about $2,500. While Shag has been a bit discreet in his placement of tiki's around the family room and living room, his studio is another story. Shag's massive tiki collection literally surrounds him while he's painting. I know a few people who have a larger tiki collection than I do, but I don't know anybody who's got more mugs than I do. Almost every tiki you see nowadays is, is not an original Polynesian tiki because when the missionaries came over and converted everyone, they burned all the tikis. Though not original, Shag's collection of Polynesian paraphernalia provides colorful inspiration for his work. This trendy artist chooses to live in a typical all-American neighborhood. My dream house was not a, a penthouse in a downtown area. It was just a nice little suburban shack that I could stick all my stuff in. Like stepping into a time machine, Shag's home transports him back to the days of smoky lounges and swizzle sticks. It provides a place from which he can paint and live in a style from a simpler time. When artists choose to create at home, their surroundings often become an extension of their work. Sarah Lugg's home is really her largest canvas. The Kaplans have created a sanctuary that inspires them to write. Working, and living converge in these distinct yet personal artists' homes. <laughs>